Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. This is your brother YC Obey. And we are sham stoppers. Title of this video. You were played by a hooker. You damn sure was. You was played by a hooker, man. You was played by a hooker. Yes, you was. You was played by a hooker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask y'all a simple question. You know what we about, right? Go to the about section. You know. I'm going to ask y'all something. Did y'all ask for your money back? Did you really call the call center and say, hey, motherfucker, where my money at? I don't owe you shit. Don't say what I just said. Just say, hey, man, where my money at? I don't owe you. Who is you? Who are you? Did we have sex together? Huh? Did you suck my penis? Did you lick on the royal balls? Listen to this shit. The call center that fills questions on child support cases has grown into the largest of its type in the state. And this is in California. For all the clients that kept it real with me in California, hey, here you go. With the additional Imperial County, Imperial County in the late December, employees will take calls from parents in 18 counties. That's a little over 30% of the 58 counties in the state. Trained customer service representatives answer calls. You see that? Answer calls freeing up caseworkers to devote full attention to connecting children with financial support. Managers say caseworkers established to enforce court orders and locate parents. Besides taking calls from Ventura County, the workers accept calls from Riverside, Santa Barbara, Monterey, Santa Cruz, Napa counties, and almost a dozen of small counties in Northern California, Northern California, excuse me, they will answer almost 36,000 calls in a month with a parent in the fold serving as the largest for any calling center handling multiple counties. Los Angeles County's call center takes 38,000 calls a month, but only for that county, officials said. No one is in is the size we are, said Marcus Mitchell, director of the Ventura County Department for Ch Child Support Services. Now, let me keep going. It's going to get better. I'm going to show you you've been played by a hooker. The center has received awards, including from one for excellence from the State Department of Child Support Services. A state Association of Child Support Directors has cited the program for collaboration. Manager Jamie Liberolo said most callers are parents who want to know why they have not received payments. Either the payments never started or there was a disruption, she said. Let me read that again. Manager Jamie said, most callers are parents who want to know why they have not received payments. Either the payments never started or there were there was a disruption, she said. Other inquiries came from parents who have learned that they are about to lose their driver's license for non-payment of support and want to remedy that. 
remedy that. Parents or employers dial in to provide updates on places of employment. Here we go. On average, 50 people work at that call center at 5171. Look, they give you the address. Filling calls from 8 a.m. to 5, Monday through Friday. Base pay ranges from about 35, I mean, excuse me, 37,500 to almost 70,000 for the full time jobs with benefits. The rate depends on experience, years of service, and responsibilities. Oh my God. Hey, y'all, check this out. You guys are hiring these people to give your stupid ass tyranny. That's what you fuck you doing. You're getting played by motherfucking hookers. Job requirements allow a variety of educational or work backgrounds, bilingual skills are a must. Attitude counts too. And then they're attacking the Hispanic brothers. Bilingual skills, they know they stupid. You know what I'm saying? Child Support Director Marcus Mitchell and Manager Jamie Libero oversees call center serving 18 counties. Look at these, look at them. Now you think, let me ask you something. <laughs> you think he'll fight y'all? Him right here. I did a video on player. He is, he likes cops. You really been played by a homosexual. By somebody with twisted nature. Check this out. Ooh, wait, check this out. I look for someone who's bright, energetic, and positive that I think our customers would want to talk to, she said. Oh, God. Y'all see that? The call center been operating since 2009. Look at that, man. I, I read something. Hold on. I read something about a dance. Somebody stopped the dance to be a dance instructor. What that shit at, man? Oh, here we go. Vanessa Bicara, 29, a former dance teacher, joined the call center a year ago after an internship with an organization dealing with domestic violence and child abuse. She takes 30 to 45 calls per shift, generally spending four to seven minutes on each. I always gravitated to something having to do with children and families. Okay, she always gravitated by using the children to get your money, motherfuckers, over a license. Your well-being. You seen the last story? Huh? What was the last story about? Huh? What was the last story about? Easily gained, easily spent. So you motherfuckers is easily giving up your money so the bitch can spin your shit and laugh at you and take some dick from the back, take cum shots all in her face, all on her back. From the new Viking. Yeah. From the new Bi Viking, man. That's why they named the medicine Viagra, right? It's close to Viking, so they want you to Viking that pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's what the new guy doing. Taking your money. This who taking y'all money. Well, now y'all voluntarily giving it up. Right here. Her right here. Her right here. And him. Because she got more balls than he do. Yes, sir. You better believe it. Yeah. It's stories on here to tell y'all what's going on. Y'all sitting on y'all ass. And don't even take that. Look. Seven to nine minutes. So you niggas can't take seven to nine minutes out of your precious time to find out who fucking you. Huh? 
I spend 15 minutes on every video. 15 minutes now. To give y'all this game. I'm going to show y'all something. Now, I'm gonna, this is going to be on the next video. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about the niggas that's sitting and playing video games, and who's still on child support. They ain't number old women. We gonna talk about that. They're gonna be mad than a motherfucker. I'm gonna drop some jewels today. All right. I'm gonna drop some jewels today. Hey man, when you come to Sham Stoppers, we want you successful. We want you happy. We just got some testimonies from another brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! We got testimonies coming, fellas. Testimonies. Alright? A testimony. A great te Ain't nobody doing the shit we doing right now. Basically, we really focus on getting your money back. That's what we want. We don't care about shit else, man. Fuck all that dismissal shit and all that. You know, if you want the case to be over, really, get your money back. Start talking about that money. It's about money. Pussy and drugs. Money, pussy, and drugs. That's what it's about. Fellas, is somebody telling y'all Otherwise, watch out because they lying. They are lying to you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they are. They're lying to you. They're the lying kings. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lion Kings, man. But y'all see this though, right? Oh, I'm finna drop some cold shit in a few minutes. Probably not even say nothing, just go through some definitions. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do over here. This ain't a sovereign citizen movement. This ain't an anti-government movement. You know what I'm saying? We don't promote none of that shit, you know. We promote that you whoop a motherfucker's ass in intelligently with your brain, okay? It's called brain warfare. Brain warfare. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you gonna spend your New Year's, fellas? How you gonna bring in the New Year's? Are you gonna be fucking around going out here drinking? Doing all types of silly shit? Or are you gonna be working to get your goddamn money back? If you got problems, hit us up with that. We got you. If you having problems with getting your money back, hit us up. Hit us up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hit us up. Because we teaching people how not to be little bitches. And check these no good bitches. Alright? We got young fellas that's 15 years old telling them hoes, man, fuck you. I ain't getting married, bitch. I ain't gonna lose my shit. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? That's the shit I like to hear. You know? Because if I get married, bitch gonna have to give me all her belongings. Give me all your belongings. Yeah. Fellas, there's only one thing in this world. Remember, it's a, it's either, you either the pimp or you either the hoe. Which one? You gonna be pimped or you gonna be holed out? Which one? That's it. 
Ain't no in between, ain't no such thing as an innocent bystander. Hit us up, you wanna get that money back? Peace.